So y'all, let me give you a story time about the time that I had a fake ass friend that I thought was my sister, right? That somebody that I love like a sister. Okay. I was about, I would say 21, 22. And my sister lived next to this, uh, to this, oh, she lived in a duplex. And this girl moved in. And anyway, long story short, the girl moved in. She was older. She started dating my, like, me and my nephew was the same age. He was, like, 21, 22. She started dating him, and um, they hit it off or whatever, right? So I would come over there to visit my sister, and this chick would live next door. And their doors were pretty much right next to each other. So, you know, she started dating my nephew. And, you know, long story short, we started being real cool. Now, as we got cool, um, you know, I was one of those kids was I was kind of neglected growing up, you know, you know, I had a lot of hand me downs and my father was real old. So he never really kept up with the times. If so, if I wanted something, it was always, uh, I, you know, I wanted something somebody else had because I felt like it was in. He felt like, oh, you know, no, whatever. But never one of those people that was ever uh, was ever jealous of nobody was ever, ever jealous of what I had except for it was my body. But you know, that I was always one of those kids that was wanting something that somebody else had because what I had was not great. Anyway, long story short, we was start we started hanging, we was cool, cool. We became best friends. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the most dangerous enemy you can have is a jealous fucking in, a jealous fucking friend. That is the worst enemy to have. Motherfucker will be grinning in your face and cutting your throat when you turn your back. Like and this how this bitch was. And we're going to call this girl Katrina. That's her name. Like, she was older than me by about three or four years. So, to me, she was a big sister. When we started hanging with each other, you know, she was she was cool. You know, my kids would hang with her kids. We both had four kids. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was cool. She had twins. And I had a daughter. We all got pregnant. When we met, we were both pregnant. Because she was pregnant by my nephew. And I was pregnant. So, you know what I'm saying? Come to find out, our kids was born a month apart. So, you know, we became cool. Plus, my kids and her kids are cousins. So, let me tell you how jealous this bitch was. Like, as long as me and her hanging together, we was cool. We was cool. Everything was good. Everything was lovely, right? And then, when I tried to bring in a friend that I had, I knew before her, you know what I'm saying, into our little group, it was always met with some static. To me, that was some old crazy shit which i didn't know then i was just like why she can't hang with us like she had a friend she knew since elementary and i was like cool we can hang together i ain't got no problem with that but when it came to me hanging with my friend it was always a problem that should have been red flag number one you know what i'm saying like bitches be real jealous on on the lolo right and so growing up like i said i always i was always always shaped very well like i always had booty and i always had i had a good shape boobies and um butt I was always told up in high school, going up in high school and middle school, like you know, you 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 shape different because you got boobs and you got ass. When 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 some women either got ass or or they got boobs and you got both. So you know what I'm saying. Plus you short, you fun size. I hear that a lot. But anyway, she was jealous of that. Didn't even know, you know. And growing up, since I didn't never have anybody be jealous of anything that I had. I, it, it didn't click at first. You know what I'm saying? I was I am a genuinely hearted person, like genuine hearted part person. I would give you the shirt off my back. If I had something she wanted, boom, she had it. And then it came off as she was there for me. Like we was cool and everything. Like she was my sister. Like if I was short lunch for lunch money when we was working together because we worked together, you know, she had me. Shit like that. Never thought this bitch would be seven me in my back. Never thought. But you know what a red flag should have been was the way she talked about her homegirl from, from elementary school. Talked to her talked about her like a dog. I should have known that she would do the same to me. Now she was on some old grimy shit and I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like still to this day, any secret she has told me. Any secret she has told me will go to the death. Go to the death with me. Like, I'm not one of those people who, as soon as you piss me off, I tell all your secrets. I ain't got time for that. I'm too grown for that. But, you know, she cut from a different cloth. Because as soon as we cloth, as soon as we got mad, this bitch spilled her motherfucking goods. She couldn't wait to spill her fucking goods. But let me tell you what drew, drew the line with me and her. Me and her kids, like I told you, me and her kids were uh, my two youngest. My youngest and her two youngest were a month apart. I had uh, a son and she had a daughter that were, you know, uh, my son and my daughter were about the same age. You know what I'm saying? So our kids ran in a, a, a circle together and, you know, we didn't need to bring anybody kids in because we had our kids but she always had this thing where like oh i don't like kids i don't like kids bitch how you don't like kids and you got all these kids and i understand everybody kids you know you got a whole bunch of kids i was like that ain't that i didn't like them it's just 
I got a lot of kids myself. I ain't trying to have your friends, friends, friends over here. I get that. But she really, like, she had a fucking problem with other people's kids. And she was a really funny acting ass bitch. Like, she would just do shit to make me, I should have, like, when you think back on the shit that you put up with, you should just punch, I should have just punched that bitch in the face. I should have drugged that hoe from here to Kingdom Kong. Like, even now, thinking about the shit, if I see her, I might smack the shit out of her. Just because she played in my face so many motherfucking times. And I was always one of those people like, just like, okay, you know, that's just how she is. No, bitch. No, 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 no. Because I am never one of those people that switch up when we get around somebody else. I'm going to be the same person. You know what I'm saying? But she would switch up. And then she would get jealous, you know, that I got, she got me jealous because I got married. She got jealous because, you know what I'm saying, I could do something that she couldn't. If I could move and she couldn't move the same way I moved, it was a problem. And she would always say, you know, I'm a single mother, I'm a single mother, I'm a single mother. I was a single mother, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a single mother for a minute, you know, granted I was married or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? But, like, me and her, when, when you know, she would always holler, I'm a single mother, I'm a single mother, I'm a single mother. You know, she would have the help of her mother. Her mother lived with her, her mother helped pay half the rent. Her mother took, like, she couldn't have it, she boo-hoo cry, cry about all this shit that she couldn't do, but her mama always stepped in and saved the motherfucking day. And I didn't realize that until her daughter checked her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Her kids would do shit to her that my kids would never, ever think about even fathom doing to me. Her daughters would stand toe-to-toe with her and talk shit to her like she was a grown-ass woman at 13 14 15 and her daughter even looked at me and was like you know what see how i handle my kids it was like you know what i know i couldn't be your daughter i know i couldn't be one of your kids because the shit you would you don't put up with my mama put up with i know i couldn't i know i couldn't stay in your house and she was for sure right you know what i'm saying so she would always try to judge me on the low you know what i'm saying about my kids and my, my none of my kids was grown none of my girls was grown none of my kids was doing none of this crazy shit her kids were sneaking people in and out the house they were disrespecting her they would take shit from her like all this shit right and let's, let's back up. I told the bitch not to marry my nephew. But the bitch married my nephew anyway, right? She bit, she married the motherfucker. And before she got married, I told the bitch, I said, listen, you should marry him. This motherfucker done stole your car, stole your kid's bike, stole your jewelry. Motherfucker took, rented your ride out, like, multiple times. Like, you, this, this shit is happening to you. And I'm telling you not to marry him. Like, you know what I'm saying? She wanted to marry this nigga fresh out. I said, don't marry this nigga fresh out. Like, make him prove to you that he he worthy. Like, no, I'm going to buy. She went and bought him clothes, shoes, drawers, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She going to make it work. Okay, cool. Whatever. Don't listen to me. Motherfucking bitch married the motherfucker. And then at the end of the day, when he still renting her ride out, stealing her kid's shit, taking her for everything, sleeping with men, doing all this other shit, all of a sudden now it's... Oh, well, I should have listened to you. But when I told the bitch not to marry him, which is my blood, my nephew, my sister's son, I said, don't marry him. I said, because um, he got to prove to you, you know, that he's a man, that he's a stand-up dude. You know what I'm saying? This bitch looked at me and said, you my friend. You supposed to support me regardless. I said, I am your friend. And that's why I'm not going to support you in this dumb shit. This my blood. If I'm telling you, even if he wasn't, if I'm telling you not to marry him, bitch, don't marry him. But you're going to do what you want to do. So by my own means, have at it. So that's exactly what the fuck she did. She had at it. And at the end of it, she was like, well, you know what I'm saying? You should have done something to try to stop me. Bitch, you grown. You, I told you what my concerns were. You said, fuck you. And I said, okay, now you got to live with your consequences. He left her and started living with another man. You know, but she already seen these signs before she married him. So at the end of the day, who fault is it? Yours or mine? No. Again, I was rocking with this bitch regardless. I was going to rock with her regardless because this is my sister. I didn't peek. My kids peeked the fact that she was jealous of everything. Like like I said, if I can, I can make moves that she couldn't make. So let me know if y'all want to get the part two because it's going to be the last video for this because it's got to be so long. For, but anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, I told her not to do it. She did it regardless. So she always told me, you know what I'm saying? She always did a little shiesty shitty shit to me. And then she go hang off, go trot off with her little friends. Oh, it's this, this, this. Like she making me, she kind of made me feel now looking back at it like I was a bitch that she was fucking. Like I was supposed to be jealous of her because she had other friends. I could give a fuck because I'm secure in who I am. I know I'm a solid bitch. At the end of the day, if you go fuck out, fuck around with these bullshit, bullshit ass bitches and they fuck you over, then that's your, and that's exactly what happened. That's her issue. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come back for part two. Or let me know if you want to have a part two in the comments.